by a vote of 10 to 0, Kaser, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Kaser, I don't like that I'm talking to you right now. <laughs> what happened? Why can you not make it to jury on this show? I just, I don't know. It's This is not format for me apparently so yeah I, that's sort of that's i'm never going to be able to live this down i'm the guy who never makes it to jury that pl played three times never jury once that's me i'm going to put that on t-shirt i mean the fans are absolutely crushed that you and janelle are out so early in this game uh what do you want to say to the fans who are disappointed in how this season's going Look, I don't want to, to sort of uh, displace any blame, but you know, what, what are we supposed to do? Like it's a, we're, we're an iconic pair that was placed in the house with no cover. I mean, we had nowhere to hide um, and all eyes were on us from day one. So naturally, Janelle in the, in the, in, inside the house was just kind of saying, hey, listen, I'm really, and we shared this sort of sentiment back and forth to one another. I'm sorry that, you know, we're here together um, had, you know, we not been together, maybe we would have made it further in the house. My response to her was, I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, I'd rather not make it very far and be able to play with Janelle again. Well, let's talk about this eviction speech that is going to go down in Big Brother history. <laughs> I just want to say I really love every one of you guys on a personal level. Uh, now, when it comes to gameplay and strategy, I think you guys all suck. Aww. No one's willing to take a shot. When did you decide that's how you wanted to go out? You know, part of, the, probably uh, two days prior, part of it was because I was trying to do everything in my power to convince um, members of the house to do something. Wake up, get with it. This is an extremely sleepy season, as far as I'm concerned. No one was w willing to take a big shot or make a big move. And so, you know, I, I come from the, 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 the sort of the, the, the thought of, of that, um, if you're gonna do something, you gotta do it yourself. Now, I never won HOH, um, and so I never had the power to do so. So I figured, you know what? I'm still in this game, technically. I have this speech, why not? And at least I owe it to the fans. I felt like the fans were probably sitting at home thinking, for the love of God, please something happen. Uh, in this game. If you want to have a reunion and sit around and maybe play charades, then keep things the same. If you want to play All-Stars, then keep me here. We'll continue to play. I hope I have your vote, Cody. Oh, you got it, buddy. <laughs> I thought I'd, I'd shake things up and light a fire and make people feel a little uncomfortable so that they maybe wake up and decide that you didn't come to this house to have Taco Tuesday with each other. The fans were definitely waiting for that moment, so thank you for bringing it to us. You said that everybody's gameplay sucks right now. <laughs> Whose game, who's sucking the most, Kesar? Who's doing the worst? Honestly, as far as I'm concerned, um, anyone who's not willing to um, make an, a, an impactful move, um, they all suck. I'll say the person who I thought sucked the most was Memphis, and then he, he surprised me. So I will give him the most credit. I thought he was literally just like laying in bed and uh, trying to uh, get, make his back feel better. but. Um, he, he, he did surprise me. I think anyone who sort of um, finds themselves in a sort of large alliance where they have a safe haven and are just kind of playing the duck and cover position, floating within an alliance, um, it's kind of annoying. I can understand why they would do it, but at the same time, I think the expectation with all stars is that you bring a bunch of people back who are gunners who who are like ready to shake things up and play an incredible game i think you just saw a whole lot of the same composition of of folks and i think that was part of the problem like everybody was like all right i'm gonna do nothing and be nice to everyone and so that caused everyone just to fall into a deep sleep and i was like oh my god <laughs> get me out of this place and like please somebody do something it feels like it's definitely the clash of old school versus new school. And it's interesting that Memphis has fallen into kind of this new version of playing the game because, so Julie revealed that big six person alliance to you that Memphis is in, but there are two other large alliances as well happening in the house. So you have Bailey, Devon, Enzo, Cody, and Danny in an alliance called the Slick Six. And Nicole knows about that one. Mm. And then you have Cody, 
Danny, Enzo, and Nicole in a different alliance called the Core Four. Mm -hmm. Does any of that surprise you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't know about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, it, look, I, 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 not entirely surprised, only because it's not my first time playing. So it would be incredibly naive to think that there were multiple alliances taking place within the house. Was there anyone in particular you were hoping to blow up their game by the speech or was it just yeah, everybody get it? To it was everyone. Um, I didn't single anybody out. I was, I gave Cody a hard time, uh, particularly because I felt as though maybe he had uh, multiple kind of associations, but that was only also strategic. Like there's nothing particularly, um, I didn't, you know, against Cody. It was just more like, how could I use Cody to infuriate more people? Danny went into the DR to cast her vote and called your speech. Disrespectful and tasteless. What do you think of that? Danny's easily offended. <laughs> and she, she needs to get over it. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> like she, um, I knew that she was gonna come off that way because I, 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 I knew that I figured the only two people that were going to be most offended by what I was gonna say were gonna be Danny and Nicole. And I can tell by their body language, they had their arms crossed and they were like really offended. Um, but here's what I have to say about that. Um, who cares? Like I was, I, I, I didn't say anything personal about you or your families or anything else. So I don't know how that's tasteless. I, if anything, um, I wanted people to feel a little bit of a pinch um, on my way out. And I thought it was kind of funny. Another great moment from your eviction episode was, you're talking to Julie and she says, the house voted you back in and your face went flat. She was referencing the first time you played the game, but you seemed like you didn't want to go back in that house. <laughs> well, Listen, why? It, I mean, you have to understand like, it's a myriad of emotions, right? Like it's bittersweet. Like you, part of it's like, I get to go home, see my family. And it's all like part of like staying sane throughout this process is managing expectations. So if you've already felt like you've walked through the doors and you've kind of moved on to the next thing in your mind, to think that you're like going to go back into that house. Obviously I'm extremely grateful to be part of this process. I wouldn't have it any other way. But it's just like, you feel as though you're just getting rocked back and forth. I, I, I was like shocked. I'm like, is, oh my God, holy crap. Am I really going to go back in this house again? So I, I just, I was like, I just send me home at this point. I don't know if I want to go back again. So are you done three times you're out? I, I said the last time I was on the show, I said, I'm never doing this again. Um, and here I am 15 years, 15 years later. So either I'm, you know, a glutton for punishment. I, uh, you know, who knows, maybe if there's like more, you know, social disorder and, and chaos in this world, just, <laughs> that's the thing that's going to bring me back again. I have no idea, but, um, I think I like all of this. I, I do enjoy being able to use this, um, medium as a way to, to speak to folks and to be, and to, to have a message. So, you know, I don't know how that's going to look uh, for me, but this is, it's a good thing and it works. So I can't tell you. Yeah. You told Julie, you came back more so for the platform than for the win. Do you feel like it was mission accomplished? Absolutely. I feel like I was able to say what I needed to say. And I think some people along the way sometimes say, well, I'm not here for the money. Maybe with this show or other shows. I truly did not come back for the money and I hope I hope people understand that. To wrap things up here, Christmas is now HOH. What do you hope she does with this thing? Oh my God. Oh, wow. Uh, geez, I, I, I think things are gonna get a little wild. Um, what do I hope she's gonna do? As a fan of the show, I hope she pulls a, a big move. I'm afraid she might be going after, she either, she's probably gonna go after the other alliance. I, I think Dave Vaughn and Bailey might be going up. All right, well, again, I am sad to see you out of the house, but I'm sure you're happy to go home, see your kid, get back yes. to life. <laughs> it's bittersweet, believe me, I'm, I'm, I'm sad to be out as well, but you know, I, I try to make the most of it. You gotta, you gotta go check up on uh, Ala Janelle's tweets. She has a lot of thoughts about the season, um, a lot of thoughts about Nicole F. <laughs> she does not oh, like Nicole F. Oh, she's still at it, huh? Oh, geez. 
oh man, I told her, I was like, you know, you got to tone it down a bit, but you know what? That's what people love about Janelle. And she is certainly not toned down even at this point in her life. So that's why gonna... people are sad to see both of you go, but here we are. <laughs>